Hey guys, Bilal here. Welcome back to another video and this is the Oppo F7 with 25 megapixel selfie camera, 19 is to 9 aspect ratio, full HD plus resolution screen with the top notch just like the iPhone 10. So in short, you are getting the iPhone 10 body for a cheap price, but is it worth it? Well, let's find out. Before we getting start, this is Patel Mobile World. Let me tell you, they are giving 10,000 rupee cashback on the purchase of Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. 8,000 rupee cashback on the purchase of Galaxy Note 8. 5,000 rupee cashback on Galaxy S7 Edge. 2,500 rupees cashback on Galaxy C7 Pro. 2,000 rupees cashback on Galaxy J7 Pro. So I guess this is the best deal for those who want to purchase the Samsung device. So hurry up, visit Patel Mobile World today. The Oppo is very well known for its amazing selfie camera and once again, Oppo has provided 25 megapixel front facing camera to impress Oppo lovers. But this time, not only the camera but also the screen has been improved. As you can see, the screen looks very nice just like the iPhone 10. But here, the top notch is a bit narrower than the iPhone 10. The bezels are so tiny from the sides. And when you look on the bottom, the bezels are just like the Samsung Galaxy S8 because they are not as thin as the iPhone 10. So the display is the combination of the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy S8, which looks actually nice. Just take a look at the back. It is a shiny and glossy red finish, which looks beautiful. But having a glossy finish means you won't get better grip. So obviously you'll need a case so it doesn't slip from your hands. Now let's take a look at the sides of the device. So on the right side we have the power button which is nice to press and on the upside there is a SIM tray which is fortunately not a hybrid SIM slot so you can have two SIMs and micro SD card at the same time. So Oppo has done a great job by providing two SIM slots for dual SIM which is impressive. On the left side we have the volume rockers and nothing else. On the top it looks clean except only this tiny microphone. On the bottom we have the speakers, the micro USB port and considering the price they should have provided the USB Type-C port. Fortunately, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack and the microphone. On the back, we have the 16 megapixel single camera with LED flash and the fingerprint sensor and the Oppo branding. Now let's talk about the hardware. So the device comes with the MediaTek Helio P60 processor with 4 or 6 GB of RAM, 6.23 inches 19 is to 9 aspect ratio full HD plus resolution screen, 64 or 128 GB internal storage, dual SIM tray with memory card slot, 16 megapixel rear camera with f1.8 aperture and 25 megapixel selfie camera 3400 million power battery which is not bad and you are getting all these things for rupees 21,990 which are approx 330 dollars the device is running on the android oreo 8.1 which is the latest android version and the device is smooth in terms of performance for now and i have not faced any kind of lag now let's talk about that notch on the top so here you can see the notch separates the right and left top corner of the device so so you might be wondering that we get the exact same functionality as the iPhone 10 because of the notch. For instance, just take a look at here. To get the control center, swipe down from the top right corner. For the notifications, swipe down from the top. So you just saw that swiping from the left and right sides of the notch gives different functionalities in the iPhone 10, which is not provided in the Oppo and it just shows only the control center and notification by swiping from anywhere on the top, which means here the notch is only provided to place the front facing camera and face ID sensor. Now let's check the face ID. So here to set the face security, you need to enroll your face in the front of facial recognition sensor and the sensor is so fast. You just saw that how fast the sensor has enrolled my face here unlike the iPhone 10 in which you need to enroll your face like this. Take a look at here. You need to move your face in the front of the sensor like this and then the sensor recognizes your face. Now let's see how the face ID performs and 1, 2, 3. Oh, that is so fast. It didn't even allow me to see the lock screen. By just clicking the power button, it just lets you to the home screen as you can see here. So Face ID is really so accurate and fast, which is impressive. Now let's check the fingerprint scanner. So let's see how fast it is. You just saw that I just put my finger on the sensor for less than a second and the device is unlocked for me. It is so fast and impressive. So good news for Oppo lovers, the Face ID and the fingerprint sensor is incredibly 
fast in the Oppo F7. Now the best part of the device, the 25 megapixel selfie camera. So here you can see the picture quality by front facing camera and it looks so clear and the colors are so nice and natural. Now let's see how does it perform in very low light conditions. So here I have taken this picture with the display flash which has helped a lot to throw enough light on my face and the camera sensor has taken very nice picture of my face as you can see here. So considering the price the front facing camera is really nice and satisfying. Now let's check the rear camera and it is a 16 megapixel rear camera which takes good pictures. It has two times digital zoom but the interface is given just like two times optical zoom. Here I have taken a picture with the rear camera and you can see the detailing is good and looks nice. I would say the front facing camera is better than the rear camera so this device is made for selfie lovers only. Now let's see the interface of the camera. We have this beauty mode in which you can set the level of the beauty as per your need. Then we have the filter mode which allows you to choose any from this given filter options. On the top we have the flash, HDR, depth effect, the timer to set the time while taking picture. And here you can see we have the options which includes full screen, square and standard screen mode. It has the sticker mode on the back as well as for the front camera. So let's see how does it look on the face. As you can see so many different stickers available and I would say as you move your face around the sensor the stickers accurately move with the face which is nice. The expert mode includes the manual functionality for professional users which allows you to set ISO shutter speed, auto or manual focus etc. So the camera interface is really nice at this price point and the quality is also good. So overall performance of the Oppo F7 is good especially the front facing camera, face ID, fingerprint scanner and the bezel-less screen with the notch and the performance is also decent. So would you buy this device or not? Let me know in the comment section below. And that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more videos. See you next time.